Thank you so much, Cynthia, for sharing about your works and their vivacious colours. We now move on to sculptor Shamil, who will share about his beautiful works that wonderfully illustrate the theme of regeneration. Okay. I think let's do some stretching first. <laughs> We've continuously recorded for more than an hour already. So, yes. I think all of us are very sleepy. Yeah? So, okay, uh, let's begin. Okay, my name is Shamil Dasuki. I'm a sculptor. La. So, uh, earlier, early in 2000, the year 2000, I think in December, uh, December of 2019, eh, 2020. 20 December, someone contacted me and Yang Chie to do a art uh, workshop for a beauty product and the PR team, the PR company for that particular beauty product wants to do something called uh, Kitsugi. So we said yes, okay we'll, we'll try something out and then we work out, work out workshop and then we throw it to you and see whether you like it or not. So never heard of Kitsugi before back then. Uh, and we re researched about it. We tried out different materials. We used different kind of resin, lacquer, um, different kind of fillers, and we got a workshop experience out of that. And then we that's how we started lah. Uh, we ran a, a two three workshops with that particular brand, and then. Uh, after that, I got really interested in Kitsugi. So Kitsugi, as you would see on most workshops, uh, are, are, you, are, are done with um, synthetic resins. So synthetic resins have accelerants, which um, mostly make it not food safe, but also makes it easier to work with. Uh, it cures within an hour or a day. Um, and you know you can go on with the uh, the process of once it's cured. But uh, we have always been curious to try out um, the, the the kintsugi that we see in Japan. Uh, it was COVID, so we can't go to Japan, and a lot of the workshops closed because they don't have tourists. Um, and they, there were some options for online workshops, so we didn't go for it because we no money. So we just looked at YouTube videos and just purely through YouTube videos like literally like hours and hours of just watching YouTube videos uh, from different uh, craftsmen, watching documentaries, reading up uh, uh, writings, we sort of like vicariously learned Kintsugi, uh, a traditional craft that is like hundreds of years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's very arrogant of us to assume that we could master a craft from just third part, third party, uh, third hand source materials. Um, but here I am presenting to you artwork that I shamelessly call Kitsugi inspired, despite never having actually met someone who actually practiced Kitsugi. But this we how, how we learn things in the uh, in 2020 <laughs> because uh, yeah we have YouTube and um, yeah so that's how I got to learn about Kitsugi how I did. okay now what is my artwork about uh, this this when we were making artworks out uh, with. The, with, with the Kitsugi practice, uh, we, we tried different kind of Iroshi, we tried Iroshi, we tried um, epoxy and all that, we tried different kind of materials. Uh, we break bowls, I break like about 100 bowls now, you can break a bowl in half with just one hit. Uh, I call it bowl breaking kung fu. Uh, I've broken so many things and I've glued back so many things and then at the end of the day, I had a lot of things that I don't want. Things that are parts of the, the, the ceramic pieces that don't make a good um, for the first uh, yeah like doesn't like we make we we make uh, we we went to 
uh, a second hand shop. It's like cash converter, but for for kitchenware, right? Uh, hotel uh, a hot, hotel surplus shop, right? And then I think because it's it's COVID, a lot of hotels shut down, and then this there were uh, like stacks, literally like a mountain, like a like a like a whole stack of mugs, little mugs like this. Uh, they were going like fifty cents a piece. Uh, we bought like a whole tray for like five bucks. Um, and we broke them and we make, we make artworks of them, marks with multiple um, multiple handles and multiple heights and all that. Uh, so whatever is left on there, right, are things that cannot make marks anymore. They cannot add in. You know, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they, they have been used up all the function. Only left the uh, uh, unfunctioned. Yeah, yeah, just the refuse, lah. basically you like um, it's like uh, what is a good analogy? Yeah, like um, uh, never mind. It's left over. I just left over, lah. Basically, I I I take out the arms and legs and just left the body and skin. So then, because it's Kitsugi, right? And then I'm like, uh, and then Joey uh, approached us to, to the word regeneration. So I looked at the, the, the pile of of useless. Um, basically useless ceramic pieces and I, or shards. I put them together. So it was, it was difficult at first because I'm so focused on finding or oh, where can I put the handle, or where can I make it stand. But at the end I'm like, okay, let's just make shapes and forms. You know, see where it goes. Uh, so then the next things are, the next thing I, I sort of like challenge myself is to use Irushi. So Irushi is a natural resin. Uh, its cure time is about two weeks or one week if it's a good uh, if, if you have good weather. So uh, every time I, I put them together, all right, okay, glue them with Irushi. Oh, it looks good. Okay, put them in a in a box. Move on to the next one. All right, it looks good. Put it in a box. Move on to the next one, and I have to wait two weeks to get back to it. So it was quite a long process. Uh, it, it, it you almost go blind, like thinking about like what where you started off. Because two weeks later, when you go and look at it, right, it, you it takes a while for you to like go back to how um, what what was what was in mind when you put it together. So luckily, Kitsugi is a craft. It's hundreds of years old. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that shows you how it's done. So there's a step. By step, uh, what comes after gluing is filling. So I filled it up, put it in the box, filled it up, put it in the box, fill it up. What, what I mean by filling it up, right? So all the glue uh, seams that 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 are glued at first, I want to make it flat, right? So I can have uh, I don't see the seam. So I fill it up. So filling is is. There's another kind of like Urushi formula. You mix Urushi with uh, um, uh, clay and, and, and sawdust. And then next thing is, I build the walls. So if you look at this cup, right, uh, it's, you see the ceramic parts and then you see the gold parts. So the gold parts are all made of the resin. Uh, and the resin takes um, the resin, so it's all built slowly, uh, bit by bit, using the Hiroshi. So the first step in building a wall or, or building, bridging a gap is you need to have uh, reinforcement. So I use stainless steel mesh and stainless steel wires. So I sort of build, you know, I feel like a builder building rebar in, in, in a concrete wall. And then I fill it up uh, one millimeter, one, two, two to three millimeters at a time to, because if I go any thicker, it will shrink and then it will break. So I, I do little uh, layer by layer and uh, every layer is about a week or two. If I'm very, very lucky, I can do it in three days. If, I, if not, then I just have to wait for two weeks. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of walls. There's a lot of waiting, a lot of uh, filling. So this, I think, I think um, this wall section right here is something that you will never see in traditional Kitsugi. 
because in traditional kitsugi they don't break things and put it together. They the things are already broken, so they just put it and then there's all there's no such thing as a big gap. Uh you, you don't sculpt with kitsugi. Alright, so this is something that uh I'm not sure I'm the only one uh, that does, but this is all made of Hiroshi. So technically, uh, it, it's quite difficult because there's a big gap and stall. So I actually have to start on the lower third, slowly bit up because the Hiroshi sort of slacks down. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of reinforcement. Uh, imagine it's exactly how you would build a concrete wall. So you have like the I use masking tape as the like the the fence, yeah. Then I just I use a stick to like poke the thing in. Then two weeks later, I come back and build some more. Uh, so overall, like since in December when when Joey approached um, me to to do this work, to do this uh, for an exhibition, I started, and then I only finished it like. The day of the when the exhibition opened, yeah, uh, which is which is fun, uh. You know, I like to live on the very edge, uh. <laughs> uh, So when I, I first okay, so the cups are are made of um, rushi, uh, but after uh, torturing myself with the rushi, I decided to not take a break. And I, I use epoxy for the plate. So this is not the plate. This used to be... So the story for the plates is that it's... Uh, uh, some Someone was selling craft uh, cheese. I think he was uh, like a distributor of craft cheese. So there was a promotion where you... If you buy like a, a few craft cheese, you get like a plate. Like an Angry Birds plate. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. I do this because this was how much Angry Birds plate I got from him. Uh, I think there was like 20 or 30 plates. Uh, it's all in the studio now. Uh, I think. Yeah, so at first, uh, the plates, uh, the idea for the plates was I'm going to combine plates, three plates together. So I used a grinder and cut, right? But the, my jig was flawed in the sense that the line I cut uh, was at an angle. So when I put the three plates together, right, it was a, like a McDonald's up. I think it's like a distance. Yeah, it was an arc, like it wasn't flat. So I I, I chuck them aside and uh, basically throw them away because it's defective. Then I can still use the new one somewhere. Oh no, no, this is the arc. I broke it already. So this is the arc. So the arc, uh, after I did this and I, oh, I want to make something flat to put on the wall, right? I remember something. I'm sorry, that's why I remember the arc. The arc wasn't flat. So I, I broke it up and I Pick the flattest part of the plate, which is the rim. So I broke it some more, broke, broke, break it some more. The moment uh, until uh, it's flat enough, and then the next thing is I have to figure out how, what kind of shape, you know, do they go about? So the, it's, it's sort of like a random uh, sketch drawing, you know, drawing with uh, uh, shots of plates. So. Uh, there was some open-ended jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it was an open-ended jigsaw puzzle. So total, I broke about four four plates, I think, for this, um, and I only managed to get these pieces that were good. The rest is still waiting for the next uh, artwork. I think regeneration, generally regeneration. I don't know. Uh, so, so like 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 the cups, they are tertiary uh, creation. That means they are they were meant to be Angry Birds plate. Then meant to be a flat artwork, couldn't become flat artwork, and you know they're this. So yeah, so for the cups, they were hotel cups, supposed to be multiple mark uh, handle cups, and then they couldn't be that, and now they become this. So they are also tertiary, sort of like used. And why uh, the thing about Kizugi is that. Uh, I think it's the first thing that people always say when they talk about Kitsugi is that Kitsugi is about finding beauty in, in broken things or finding beauty in uh, like Wabi Sabi which is the philosophy of um, beauty in imperfection, right? Yeah. 
I there is beauty in, in the imperfection here also. But then for me as a as a as a sculptor who is obsessed with material and process, I sort of like lose sight of the whole purpose of what, what I'm doing. Like the whole purpose of making art is to like tell stories and have a, a very like very easy little words like uh, beauty in imperfection and like oh uh, you know you find beauty in yourself. Well, you see no matter they are so broken but then they still have some looks nice. Uh, I totally forget about that. Uh, instead I'm just very happy that they look very shiny. <laughs> because to get it to, sh to be so shiny right you have to polish it. You have to make sure that you fill up all the divots, make it flat uh and make it uh in in a way that um uh when when you look at an angle you don't see any dots or divots so that when you when you apply the glue and you sprinkle in the gold powder you don't have to do anything else it's just whoop, and then ah nice all right uh i'm not there yet i'm i'm just at the whoop, but the ah the the nice not there yet but I'm, I think I'm getting there. Uh, maybe one day I'll go to Japan and, and find a master to piss off with my work. Because apparently, uh, the Japanese don't like my the what we are doing with Kitsugi. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, one or two comments from uh, Japanese per, per people that you're not supposed to break cups and join them back together again. That's not Kitsugi. Yeah, okay. So, uh, maybe one day I'll, 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 I'll have a conversation with a, like a proper Kitsugi practitioner and then see what he thinks about it. Until that day, uh, you know, this is just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like, perfect the technique and the craft. Because I think the technique and the craft, um, it's something that... Uh, you can really expand into and, and you know like making the wall making it shiny making it flat um, it, it, it translates to a lot of other practices like polishing uh, um, mold making and all that yeah so any questions yes Yeah. So I have. So we have made cups um, and plates, but we have not really like made a, like a something that is totally not for food. You know, like um, I don't know, a basket with plates. Uh, but um, actually, actually, the Nafa would be something. Yeah. Also. So. So in terms of material, right? We have always we have we have tried uh, ceram I've always been ceramic on ceramic, uh, and the, my observation and my experience is that um, uh, when we try to we've tried uh, ceramics in glass, uh, the glass is a particularly uh, uh, difficult thing to glue because uh, it's it's a the, the the there's no it's not porous, so there's nothing in there for the glue to absorb in and, 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 and bind. So uh, glass is difficult to glue on together, but you can still glue it. Uh, I've glass is not very forgiving. Yeah, it's, it's not shattering the moment. It's so open. also when you try to, 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 to select the shapes of the glass, um, uh, I've cut myself a few times just reducing glass, yeah. Uh, so one way that you can glue glass together and not many, glass gluing people uh, talk about how they do it uh, you, right 
it's copper tape and solder. You can try it. Yes, that's how they do stained glass. Yeah, that's the word. Sorry, stained glass uh, uh, practitioners. I say glass gluing, but yeah, stained glass is the correct word. For it. Uh, glass gluing, I mean, stained glass practitioners. Yeah, yes. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, your observation is that both chains are objects and my objects are useless. Non-functioning. <laughs> Non-functioning. Non its value is not in its fun. It's not in a uh, use or function. It just looks nice. Yeah, I got yeah. one. Uh, okay. I have one question because I'm, I'm interested in how you uh, you're not feeling the gap. You're making you're making more forms out of that. You're not feeling the gap. Can. Right, and then yeah. continuing with the whole so like sculpture is uh, yeah. made with Urushi. It, that, what you're saying is like building with Urushi. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah that's with possible. The, the, yeah. As a structure, and then Urushi as like, That would be very, very interesting. I mean, I don't have the it, material, so I'm yeah. looking you, forward I, to see something. I, I, I can, I, I, what I hear is uh, the reason why people don't do that is because it takes uh, it's very it's a fussy material. It takes a long time to cure, and uh, it's oh did I mention it's poisonous? Oh. <laughs> so, fun story. Uh, uh, there's two materials we uh, me and Yang Chai work with uh, with regards to kitui, which is resin and uh, urushi. So resin. Uh, the, uh, the longer you're exposed to your resin, you don't get a reaction straight away. straight away. But the more you use it, right, you get the, the word is called sensitization, whereas your body de develops an immune response to it. So after six months of working with it, young chairs are getting rashes all over his arms and back. For me, I just get uh, like a sunburn rash on my lips and my nose. Uh, it, it absorbs through your skin. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's up to the skin. Yeah, so, so if you're, when you get sensitized to uh, epoxy resin, you, you, it's over time. So after a month or two months or three months of like heavy use, then you'll get a reaction. Hiroshi, on the other hand, you'll get a reaction straight away. So uh, contact dermatitis as well. Uh, so we always wash our hands very thoroughly and do like a discount check. You know, because you know when you when you work with uh, paint, whatever, right, sometimes you get like a, a here, and you don't know that it's there until someone pointed it up, pointed it up. Yeah, I've got it. If I get a little small dot there, right, I'll get rash in the morning. Yeah, but if it's a small dot lah, but if you that's my reaction. This is a bit. My reaction is just a bit on my lip and my nose. Young chair on the hand will get like a really bad rash on the arm. Yeah. And yeah. So, uh, that's why I, I'm more brave to work with Rushi than Yang Chia because uh, my 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 payment is just a little bit of rash. Yeah, yeah. yeah my lip will break. Yeah. Yes. Um, just now you mentioned that uh, when you you always select pieces that as flat as possible so that when you draw you can you can maintain that or achieve that right. Um, I was thinking, I think I spoke to you before. Would you consider uh, using this method of mending to draw pieces of different shapes, you know, whether it's Belgian or not, so that you can create uh, free form. I want to try that in the future. Uh, I know this method definitely is, is they are very precision uh, oriented, you know, they are very fixed in, in, in this stage of it. 
strict about this method of mending. I think as an artist, if we could if we use a, that method to create something different, mm -hmm. to break away. Yeah, I think that's what I'm, I'm doing here. I'm breaking away from. I'm quite a rebel myself. I like yeah. to break away from tradition. But Sorry, no, no knots. It's like, uh, but no knots. No knots. Yeah. When me appropriating Japanese culture and then, like, I don't even get to feel their or experience a negative reaction. It feels like I'm I'm hiding because it's like you you do something bad, but your mom doesn't know about it. <laughs> so, and then you, I don't know because I. No, your mom is angry, but you don't know yeah, about it. Yeah, I don't know about it. Yeah. So, I, I, so I'm, unless you know, whether I'm, I don't feel like I'm, a, I'm a rebel, because I don't hear people, you know, saying, "Oh, you, why you doing something is wrong." You're just being creative. Yeah. So right now I'm just being creative and I'm trying to like do things with it. Yeah. The reason why these are small and this is flat, right, is because uh, I want it to be collected. <laughs> Yeah, I wish someone would. It's easier to put in your house and like you know. Yeah, I've I've I mean, we we've, we've done a few large pieces, and uh, um, yeah. Then the feedback was that if if you do wanna like sell it and you know make make some returns, uh, we need to make it smaller or something like that. Yeah. You can still create something that can be you know uh, affixed to the wall or hang on the wall, but there's some relief, you know. Yeah. That's a good idea. We 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 got like a like several plates that's that's uh, about this dimension, uh, like this big, and it sort of pops up a bit. We yeah, it's 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 in a in a drawer in a, in a studio. Yeah, but maybe you can I can show you later. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. So it does. Does this represent anything? Uh, I think when when I was doing like the free form uh, what puzzle, what do you call it? Like a free form puzzle, right? Um, the shape sort of like um, it emerged out of itself from the four pieces of, of plates that I broke, and selecting the the only useful like the only parts that I could actually the criteria that governed the shape was that it needs to be flat, and then I need to have it come back around to itself. I then think the other juicy story is that like, one day we were just picking up stuff and leaving out parts that we were we thought were useful like, in the studio and then like this form appeared like he was arranging on paper like, it looked like some kind of fossil remnant yeah. and stuff right? and then from there he was like thinking about like, how he wanted to play around those shapes now. So pieces. it's a good good thing having uh, someone in the studio with me is that he can you, you get someone to tell me when to stop and you know Tell me when, when I'm, I got something. Yeah. So, like the process of, 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 of making, especially something that is so abstract. Sometimes you you can work on like a criteria that you know, for example, or you can just have a feeling that it's done, or someone tells you when it's done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's it looks like a fossil. I think. Looks like a tooth or like a like a tear shape. It looks like it can bite you. Yeah. So. Just one quick question. I'm trying to think about because you said that the resin kind of gets into your skin, right? Have you done any background research in terms of how how if if it's biodegradable or if it's environmental friendly, if it ends up in the Oh. Yeah. Okay. The reason why it's um, Urushio. Urushio, it's from the tree. Uh, once it cures, right? Uh, okay. The thing that 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 actually uh, gives us the reaction is the thing uh, that is the 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 sort of evaporates. It gives off as it cures. Um, epoxy is the same thing. A resin is uh, the synthetic resin is also the same. Once it is cured fully, right? Uh, all the bad things have already evaporated out. The ketones are, the uh, uh, slates are all yeah. evaporated. Yeah. So that is why uh, plastics, in some sense, is safer than ceramics. Because once plastic is cured, 
it's you can you can eat you can eat it all of it. You can eat the plastic and you won't get uh, a reaction. Whereas when a ceramic is not fired properly or there's some of the glaze left or wrong glaze is used, it it seeps into your food and you get metal poisoning. Yeah. Leaching like yeah, yeah. Certain places are. Yeah, that's why uh, porcelain is popular because porcelain is like a. Uh, you don't need to glaze it, you know. You you skip all the the, the danger part of um, making ceramics for footwear. Uh, there's also in the market uh, food safe epoxies. Uh, the reason why it's food safe, it, it's it has less of the uh, volatiles that gives you the reaction, but. Um, it still has those volatiles that will give you the reaction. Uh, uh, the only volatiles that, that it doesn't have are the volatiles that accelerates the accelerants and the fillers. Yeah, so it cures slowly, um, and but it doesn't. It's food safe. Yeah, it's like a draw, like a you know, like a draw, like a. The pros and cons of, of, of using uh, the different formulas of, of resin. Uh, 